Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Madagascar Bridge right now. And I actually didn't realize last time when I took the stadium service over here, they actually have all of the stands listed on the freaking lamp posts there. <laughs> wow, when do they ever need that many stands? They only have 652 and 653. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I guess stand one is for the cat, which is the one we're going to be filming today, Red Cat. I will not take that one because I just took that one over here. So they changed the driver. So it's really funny the, the way to actually do things because when they actually need to change shift in the middle of the road, they actually, the, the, chain, the driver that will be picking up the bus will drive their own car to the depot, pick up a car from the depot, drive it over here, and then he got on the bus, and then the bus driver just finished the shift, got on the depot car, and then drive the depot car back to the depot and pick up his own car to go home. So uh, the debts to hopefully change us. And I'll take this one and take the next one. Right now, the buses are pretty much delayed right now. So uh, early on, literally two in a row. <laughs> so, but there should be another one coming in literally at like three minutes. So I'll take that other one. So we'll take a whole loop around. I don't think the drivers will mind because it's a free of charge service and it's meant for tourists to take around. So I'll just take a whole loop on the Red Cat, which is actually the only CD bus CBD cat I hasn't, actually haven't filmed yet. I filmed all of the other ones, so that's why it's time to clear off the, all of the cats today. And there goes the Desto. West Perth continues to Madagascar Bridge. That's the uh, Desto that they actually meant to do now, instead of actually just say full circuit. So there goes 2617 there. And there's the other guy at the back there. Lychee right behind. We'll get on board that one. And go time. Let's do it. Now I'll take a full loop around. It's fine, actually. There's the announcements. Perfect. You know where you're going. Rain bell for Trinity College. Red Cat is also not one of my most familiar cats because I don't really take it that often. Definitely is the blue one that I'm actually the most familiar with. So. It takes the CBD inner street and we'll go over to uh, West Perth for a loop back around. And then we'll come straight back here. It might be taking a long way actually. It might be actually 45 minutes if I take the whole loop, but let's just do it. Now Red Cat is now currently also a partial replacement of the 661 stadium service so that's why they will actually increase in the amount of services for Red Cats. When there's actually stadium events, they will start the uh, extra services for Red Cats outside of Perth Station. Since a been a while since I've taken all the way to where West Perth is, so let's do it. Last time when I took the Red Cat, I still remember that day when I took 4002 actually. When it got swapped down, wonder when will 4004 comes into service. Later on, I'm just going to take uh, the Red Cat again after I get off the next service at Managar Bridge and then we just drop it off right here and I will take the 111 from there. Oh, actually 111 doesn't stop there. I guess I just have to go to the carriage and stop then. And there's another ready. 
2676. The caption is just CBD ready. So, yep. No one. Next, I guess I can get over that stop for the 111 later on. Ring bell for cartons. Wow, the amount of people. <laughs> Non-existent right now. And it's five minutes per bus for a red cat. Like, what? What's the point of having so many? Ring bell for Perfint. Okay, so somehow we actually have a normal store for the 111 and 160. Wow, the cat actually skips this. Like, what? That's so weird. Because our cat stop is actually right at the front. Oh, because they actually meant to have it at the same stop, but the one we wanted to turn down here now, back to St. George's Terrace, so our mint is actually at the front there, which is kind of dumb. Why not just stop back there? Because that one is actually right outside of Perth Mint instead of actually this stop, which is actually diagonally to it. Now, thanks to my parents actually coming last year, I, I was able to, I, I went to Perth Mint one time to join the tour inside to go through the stuff. Which, for sure, if I'm on myself, of course I'm not spending the money for that. Almost back to Perth Station, which we will stop by, and then we will go to Perth Underground Station, then continue our way to West Perth. We should start to get more and more people here boarding in the middle of the city, so... Ring bell for Town Hall. <laughs> Someone literally just took just just taking one stop, like what? <laughs> Literally taking one stop. Wow. I literally saw that lady boarded right next to me and then she pressed the bell already. Cucina on Hay. Is that one of the restaurants that I've actually been to in Hong Kong? No. I think it's definitely the same name, but it's not the same restaurant, of course. Because that just looks like a cafe, while the Cucina that I think I went in Hong Kong is a very fancy restaurant, which my aunt and my mom went together and very nice. This path is honestly very bad in my opinion. <laughs> the other direction would not touch this path, so it's pretty good. But this path is really bad in terms. And also in ter because of uh, actually how slow they are for the tr speed restrictions to these streets. The red cat is really slow. Now it's expected that we're gonna stop at mostly all of the stops here, so.
Ring bell for Perth Station. And turn left, post station. Oi, 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 oi. Alright, here we are, on to post station. Wish for sure there would be people boarding here, so. Now there's one problem with this desk though, where they actually says West Perth continues to Madagara Bridge. If they f if the driver forgot to actually change it after they hit West Perth to just say Madagara Bridge, it will be a little bit confusing. But that's just basically how it goes. Ring bell for Perth Underground Station. Now the yellow cat is also West Perth, but it's uh, two different spots, so it's not the same. And onto the dreadful William Street. Now they do have rush hours, short trips for the uh, Red Cat, just looping to West Perth and not to the bridge. It's just the city centre here goes to West Perth and comes back. So. Alright, returning right, but he again he chose the worst timing to turn because to start moving again. He has been stopping at the stand for like the entire time and he moves as soon as the yellow as soon as the green light turns red. Like why? So of course it's a city cat depot doing the services. Ah, oh, it's again the worst one. 43, there it goes. Future boss. 1690 Base water bus Now sometimes for order services for extra services free metal depot will kick in with their normal buses just like before But I think before that 2793 that I've said a lot of times has been swapped to the cat depot Just for some of the cats to actually go maintenance or something because 2793 is now back in free metal I I have seen it a lot of times again on the 114 and 115 so This stop is Central Park. Ring bell for His Majesty's. Actually, no. I think before Queen Elizabeth II passed away, I think it is actually called Her Majesty's for this first, this upcoming stop. But after King's King Charles went up, so 
they changed it to His Majesty's. I don't know whether that's correct or not, but I think it is because before it's Her Majesty's, man. But now they just have to change it to His Majesty's because it's a His. Or is it actually the entire time also called His Majesty's? I'm not so sure. But this stop name is so weird, like, His Majesty's. It's actually His Majesty's Theatre, I saw that back there. But why not just call it His Majesty's Theatre for the stop instead of just His Majesty's? Ring bell for QV1! This is the stop that I use the most for the Red Cats, because the Tonkotsu ramen shop is right across the road. And then usually after I finish eating at the Tonkotsu ramen shop, I just take the 910 at the Milligan Street, one stop into Perth Bus Ball and change to another bus. Instead of actually taking the Red Cat, because it has to loop around the whole thing if I take the Red Cat. Plus, it doesn't stop on William Street after it turns back out. So you will know the path later on is slightly different. Because we're on Hay Street right now, this Hay Street is one way only, so later on we need to take Murray Street to go back over. It's been so long since I've actually taken past this section. I have no idea how the route goes actually after this. I really have no idea, so we're just going to look at it. It goes to West Perth and then do a quick like square loop around to go down to Murray Street next and then we'll go straight back out. But yeah, because it does count as a term, there's an Outram Street, West Perth, so that's why we will actually stop there for quite a while before we actually go back on our return trip. Oh, a bus died there. Well, oh, damn. Literally have the dead signal on right there. What is that? 3287? Is he meant to be there or is he doing the uh, all extra services for the cats? Emerald's Terrace. Now the, the window is really bad for this bus, so <laughs> I'm not even joking, this bus is really bad because due to just the rain actually earlier on, so that's why. What the fuck? Wait, what is that announcement? It just says West Perth before it does says Outram Street. What the hell? <laughs> it literally just said Ring Bell for West Perth. What? I never heard that announcement ever in my life. It before definitely says Wing Bell for Altram Street. Like that. Instead of just West Perth, what? Oh, this is not the Altram Street stop. Okay, so that means there actually is a West Perth stop. I don't think I've ever taken this stop, to be honest. No, I definitely have. 
because I've taken all of the routes, so... I remember one time I took from a Huey one stop and just loop around, so... Next is the terminus for this direction. Yep, Outram Street. That's the terminus for this direction, which we were going to stop for a while before going back to Madagara Bridge. So this is where it's going to lay over for a bit. The driver might walk outside just to get fresh air. And after a little bit of layover, continue our way. I didn't hear the street name. <laughs> well, I have no idea about this next stop. Damn. That's fine. And then there's actually an extra stop that they added in a, b uh, a cup uh, uh, way before. Uh, was that Ort Street? Ort Street. And then they added in a stop actually after the turn at the front, which was a completely brand new stop. That's the newest cat stop with the highest cat ID. So that's why it's a pretty brand new Hatlock Street stop, I believe. Yep, there it goes, Hatlock Street. That's a brand new and green cat coming down. There it goes. 26, 23. Now we don't turn here, we turn at the front. The next the next turn. There's actually a stop here before we the next stop. I guess not this not then. Not this stop then. There's another stop after the turn, so. Okay, let's continue. Hay Street, this is the new stop that they edited. That's why it's so vague, the the stop name. Because Hay Street is so long, where do you mean Hay Street? <laughs> Which this stop has all of the completely different stands as all of the other ones that actually have the timing that you can actually press the button to check on the next bus arrival time. This, this, this stop is just a normal bus stand. That's the highest cat ID, 144. Now we cannot turn right from here because this is a one-way path for Hay Street, so that's why we're gonna go st one more down.
Gordon Street. Ring bell for Milligan Street, which is basically the, the stop which was just for at QV1. After that will be the Rain Square stop and then we'll be Perth Station again. Uh, what's that name again? I don't think they actually use Rain Square. I don't know. Definitely one of the stops is called Wayne Square. So I think there is one extra stop before Rain Square. What the hell? Go! Bro! It's cars, man. Freaking Christ. This light does not last long. I know it from past experience. So, okay, the right turn is gone already. But, I mean, the right turn you can go right again. But, oh, freaking Christ. There it goes. Continue through. That's why the city cats are really annoying. Bro. There's a stop, King Street, okay. There's the Rain Square stop, which some of the short trips will just turn right as soon as it hits William Street to go back to the West Perth loop. If they continue doing the West Perth loop, but most of the time they don't. They just do w one of them and just end the day there. They will actually name that one as 002 instead of actually just the number 2, which is... So many people getting off at this rain square stop. What the hell? The whole bus just got cleared out. What the hell? Well, not a joke. The whole bus just got cleared.
gosh. Way late on the click. Now there's actually a reason why they actually don't put the bus uh, stopping spot all the way to the front because there's a reason for that because when the uh, bus is turning left from William Street over there especially if it's an Arctic bus they actually need to cross over for extra spaces before they can oh my gosh 60 50 on a 51 over there Southern River so that's why they actually need to have this small spot at the front here actually vacant it just for the buses especially Arctic's to when they turn they have enough spaces to turn You just cut straight in. And there's the cat step of slope over here, stand five. Now there are decent amount of people definitely will take the red one, so let's just get it. Hopefully we can make it through. Gas bus going through there. 43, 2005. Boy, that was so close. Murray Street. Okay, I don't think we can make it through this one though, but... 2183. On a 67. 3070 over there on a 950 service. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. <laughs> Considering it's so slow over here, he could have just cut over one lane, then cut back over. Ugh. This driver is honestly not performing well. Yellow cat, 2625, 221, 3441, and another 221. I didn't see that one actually somehow. Bro, again. Oh. Now we turn back into the inner streets to surf now. We'll drive right past the Cathedral Hall over here, St. Mary's Cathedral, I think. And of course, more lights. Ridiculous. Okay, at least this one's not too bad, but... We got more lights after we turn, so... so freaking A. Especially this stop right here. Ring bell for Mercedes College. No, Royal Perth Hospital first, then it's Mercedes College. Wow, it's been so long since I've taken this path. What the hell? Oh my goodness. This is stop here, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, in terms of efficiency, Purple Cat is the best because it doesn't have too many red lights, but... Such big words there. Royal Perth Hospital, understand. Okay. 
ring bell for Mercedes College. There's the cathedral, which uh, which last year holiday, first day for my parents to come over. We went here immediately, followed by the Perth Mint. So pretty fun. And then after that, they went to my my uh, accommodation on uni, which I still remember what we took actually when we go back. Of course, I took 34, 1912. This garbage meaty. If the processors didn't work, and then I get the get the car to work out because I know that you should not tap the thing on it. And after a while, the drivers just decide to just ask everyone to get a free ride, and then my dad com just complained. And then my dad just go ahead and complained, because like, why the hell other people can get free rides while I actually tacked on? Why? <laughs> and he just literally complained about that. So. Because he's playing, playing standard, so, of course. I honestly just want to drop off at Waka, but the thing is, I will go to Medicare Bridge just to finish off the full journey, of course. Bennett Street. I thought it was Bennett Street, but I find it's Bennett Street. Okay, that's pretty cool. Finally, not too many light. Not too many lights in here, finally, but it's still every single stop we have people getting on or off. There's no one boarding here, but there's someone getting off, so still no difference. Back down to Plain Street, turning right here, back down to, oh my gosh, again. And another light turns red right in front of my face, oh my gosh. I'm just like keep on cutting. I'm, my whole phone is just, like filled with 30 seconds clips now. That is a harsh turn, but now it's the same path practically. But we do need to start Waka and we'll go back up. 26, 26 over there. Waka is a pretty big spot. Usually, sometimes the drivers do actually lay over at Waka, so. And here's the stop, of course, there are people getting off. Never can we actually skip any stops, freaking Christ. They actually said seven minutes, but actually it's five minutes per bus. Thank you. We take the 111, I saw some Arctics driving in now, so. I can. I guess I can take 160, but I want to take 111 because the number, the Waka, yep, next stop. The number is way better, way more, way more special than just taking this 160. And next is the Wacker. Wish we should see some one one ones later on since we turn here. We're almost done with the route. Over here is not too many lights, so we should be getting down to Madagascar Bridge very soon. Hey, nice. Even better. Turn left. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall. Yep, here's the buses laying over here. 30, 80, 30, 66 out right there. For the 160 service, and then packed with buses at front. 160, 29, 72, and gas bus. 111, 1945. And yep, he did like lay over for five minutes. He did went out for probably a toilet break or something. Because there are no toilets at Madagascar Bridge, so that's why. 
Well, two more stops, now Street, and then it will be Malakar Bridge. <laughs> Back onto Wellington Street. What the hell is that bus turns left sign? Not a terrible sign. I think he's just going again later on to be honest, but I'll wait for the next bus to just take a few stops to change to the 111. Ring bell for Madagara Bridge. Now this is the same path as the 653 last time, but we do at the front this time and it's in daylight, so it's way better. Let's see the glorious Managara Bridge again. And there he goes changing his desto again. <laughs> He's just going back again. Which is really miserable for these red cat drivers. Because he's just going back again for another trip, so. And there goes the Desto change. <laughs> Where's Perf? There it goes. And here we are at Madagascar Bridge. We'll drop off right here. No need to take again on the same bus. So let's get off right here. There's the Desto. Continues the Madagascar Bridge. Where's Perf? Desto back on again. And there are people definitely boarded at the Wacker. They will continue his way through. So. There's 2669, we might film him leave, but I think he's gonna park here for a little bit, which is kind of dumb because they actually do two layovers like after a few stops. They lay over at the Wacker, and then they lay over here again, like why? There's the bus there, very nice. Which version these, all these guys would just get swapped back to normal depots. When the electric buses, when the electric buses fully take over, which of course is gonna take a couple of more years before it's finished, but. Well, there it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this journey. Remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these words up top and I'll see you guys next time.